In after being on the run for nearly a year, a man accused of multiple sex crimes against children was tracked down by fugitive hunters late last night. Brandon Howell arrested in 2019 and last March skipped trial. Multiple agencies have been trying to find him ever since. Our Lacey Beasley talked one on one with one of the recovery agents who put the cuffs on him, finding him in a peculiar place. Lacey is live right now outside Metro Jail with the exclusive Lacey. Yeah, Lenise and Lee, the agents at Metro Bonding tell me they were tipped off yesterday to his whereabouts. Now they say they found him at his mother's house, but it was where in the house that's stunning. If you miss court, you know, it's, it's serious. We're going to come get you. I mean, we're going to go find you. These words ringing true. Paul Stokes is a fugitive recovery agent with Metro Bonding. He and his team have been hunting for 36 year old Brandon Howell for a year. According to the jail log, Howell is charged with 11 sex crimes involving children and court records show he did not show up to trial last March. Late Monday night, multiple fugitive agents went to his mother's house in Bruton after getting tipped off. Lo and behold, Stokes says he saw Howell peeking through the window then found him hiding in an odd space. He was actually hiding in an air vent <laughs> that connects from the from the closet to his mom's room. And he was actually holding the vent with his hands, but you know, not open while it was like close grip and he was holding it close and he moved it and we seen him. Stokes snapped these pictures of Howell being taken to Metro Jail with dirt across his shirt from the air vent. Stokes says he will most likely face an additional federal charge for jumping bail. And he adds his victory was telling the alleged victim's family Howell was heading to jail. I actually promised her, I was like, I will be the one to put handcuffs on him and I won't stop until I do. And she was the very first person I called last night and I spoke with her in the and, and her now daughter is what, I call, is what she calls her. And it made me feel so much better. And that's the whole reason why I do this job. Now Stokes also tells me one of the ways that helped track down Howell was through a dating app profile he recently created. Now Howell will most likely stay here at Metro Jail until trial. Reporting live in Mobile, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.